My name is Eric Inches. Over 2014 to permaculture and did my permaculture design certificate. Um, I've spent a few years volunteering at various places and organizations, one of them being Africa Burn, where I helped to organize some of the burns and some of the elements. Uh, and I was starting a new business, um, and that was BC before Corona hit. The initial reaction about lockdown uh, was one of shock um, that the lockdown is going to take the economic and, and hunger disaster that we were already in and elevate it into an economic and hunger pandemic, which is what has happened. I could really hear the money trickling upwards. The virus was already out of control. And the media was stoking fear, not very useful at all. And they still are. Uh, the TT Food Pros Initiative uh, starts after a bit of a journey. In March 2020, I joined the CAN movement and started Solaris Pass CAN and then Somerset West CAN. Uh, the health information and the aid uh, that was being provided at the time was quickly overshadowed uh, by providing food to stop people from starving to death. Entire epic sectors were wiped out, uh, both formal and mostly the informal sector. Uh, and no aid was reaching the ground, none of it. None of the promises that came from government, DSD, you name it, uh, it never materialized, or it was so delayed that it was virtually worthless. Uh, people were hungry now. People had lost work and any ability to make money or put food on their tables right now. Um, community kitchens started popping up all over the place, uh, mostly done with seat of your pants fundraising. Uh, in the cans that I'm involved in, this is still happening today, a year later. Seat of your pan raising, just hope for next day. Um, but as always, you eventually run out of other people's money. Um, so a way out of this that can be done in a zero budget led to the CTT Food Growers Initiative being founded. It's all about self-emancipation, Grow whatever you can, wherever you are, with whatever you've got. And create a food forest out of Cape Town. Um, it started with a WhatsApp group. Uh, and a week later, it was full. And it basically consists of the entire CAN network and all of Cape Town's rainbow children. Uh, permaculture, agroecologists, regenerative farmers, uh, academics and burners, NPOs and scammers. I've spent quite a bit of time weeding the scammers out of the groups again. You learn very quickly not to put group links out into the open anymore. It's basically a flat, an agile network. It's flat, there's no leader, there's no rules, it folk urban food grain and sharing and supporting. So there's no money and no marketing. And from it came an amazing outpouring of kindness. It's amazing how you take money and, and marketing out of the equation and people start acting like humans again. But after that, there was a Facebook group created uh, and up to about 12 different WhatsApp groups. Um, and they come and go as the need arises. Uh, the ones that are staying around, one of them is a seed bank, uh, others the government lies and task, task team. Um, uh, there's a media task team, there's a co-learning task team, there's a task team. Basically, we really truly are connecting the dots at the speed of trust. Uh, regenerative farming um, is path for a future 
uh, where we are. Um, and it's a part of the future that I would choose. So I'm living it. This is actually very urgent. And, and every space in the urban setting is needed and can be reused in the most unlikely of places. We only need to look. 